Hi, I'm Chris Berman. Ahead on ESPN, coming off a bounce-back season in 2003, the Edge, and James, looks to pick up where he left off. Colts, Patriots, next. The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Hello there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to Gillette Stadium. My colleague here in the commentary booth is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have a solid tackler on defense who does an excellent job pursuing the ball. No doubt about that, Dan. These guys do an outstanding job of reading the offense and ripping it to shreds. Teddy Bruschi is one of the most potent inside linebackers that you'll see in the league today. He always keeps himself totally focused on the task at hand so that he can play at his fullest capacity on every down. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Rob Morris is a very impressive inside linebacker. His run pursuit is right up there among the best, and he won't be deterred either. He'll knock a blocker right out of the way, and once the ball is snapped, all that he cares about is seek and destroy. Well, better watch out, because both of these guys have a chance to make some big plays today. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. Heads it is. Kicking off for the There's Patriots. the signal, and we're ready. It's time for Patriot football. Vinatieri boots the opening kickoff. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. First the Colts will start this first play of the drive at their own 20-yard line. Makes the catch on the right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. First and ten. Ball at the Colts, 44 yard line. Manning throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete at the 43. Tackled at the 50. Edrin James took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, four yards to go. James picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Edrin James powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Manny throws a heater right sideline and it's off his fingertips incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Reggie Wayne didn't quite have that extra reach you need to bring those kind of balls in. He came close, though, and he got a finger on it. Third and short, and they just can't get the completion. Why didn't they go with the run, Peter? Well, I would have, but I'm not the coach. He's obviously got other plans. It'll be fourth down. Smith gets ready to punt this away. Smith takes the snap and punts it away. The Patriots let this one bounce, but it will Ooh, pin them deep about, at the I'm six. It. I'm bringing it, yeah. Hunter Smith angles this one nicely and puts it out of bounds and away from any potential return inside the 10. That's a nice punt. The Patriots offense comes out. They're backed against their goal and they will start at their own six yard line. Five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and five. Ball at the Patriots, 11-yard line. 
Graham goes in motion. Dillon gets the call again and he takes it upfield. Greg down at the 18. First down. Corey Dillon played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Brady really rules this pass, and that's good. It's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Brady plays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. First down, three wideouts in the game. Dillon will take the handoff and the heads out right. The ball carrier. Brought down at the 43. With the tackle. Second and six. Ball at the Patriots, 43-yard line. Brady throws a heater, and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Number 29. Joseph Jefferson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. 43-yard line. the first on third and long. Troy Brown is just crazy good on this play then. He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to throw somewhere else, I think. Oh, but it didn't matter. He made the catch. Great job. Peter, it's early in the game. It's the first time they go deep, and he makes the big completion. What does that do for a team's confidence? Well, then, obviously, it's a huge boost, but there's still a lot of game left. Brady throws a lob here, and the ball is caught at the 27, and he's stopped right there. Christian Foria took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. That's good for Dillon uh, takes his fourth carry of the game and picks up the first down. Rifles this one hard over the middle, and that's good. It's for complete a... for a first down and a whole lot more. Oh. Tom Brady zeroed in with the pass back there and leaves the two defenders empty handed. <laughs> what ball placement! A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great call by the offensive coordinator, and it will be a first down. <laughs> Corey Dillon stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Second and goal. Ball at the two-yard line. Dillon carries it for the sixth time and passes the line. Stopped at the one. Third and goal. Ball at the one. McCrary goes in motion. He's in for the touchdown. Dillon jumps forward and hits the turf to get a little more on that huge play. Well, he knew that if he stayed on his feet, the defense was going to wrap him up in a doggy bag. A doggy bag? Yes, Peter. Leftover. 
What a leftover. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have that. But so far, he's got 21 yards and one touchdown. The extra point is good. It's good. Gets the signal, and we're set. Vinatieri booms a beauty here. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. The Colts stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. James picks up six on the play, and that brings up second down. And that'll do it for quarter the number one. Quarter. The Patriots are out in front, seven to nothing. Second down with the tight end, White. Patterson catches the bullet out left and is well past the markers for a first down. First down, Colts. First and ten. Look at those last year numbers there. That's great production. Zips it to the left sideline, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Pass interference, number 38, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Tyrone Automatic Poole first down. manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First and 10. The ball at the Colts, 46-yard line. James catches it in the flat and tries to get free. Edgerin James, pass complete. Tackled at the 46. Edgerin James made the catch back there, but I really like how he got yards after the catch. That's a great play. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Heck, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post oh, route, but you will yards. see him make plays off those shorter catches. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Lepensky goes in motion. James gets the call on second down and gets well past the markers for a first. First down, Cole. Edrin James keeps it in the family on this play, and he had a lot of brothers to help him. Yeah, that design run was a success because he followed his blockers. Without him, he wouldn't have gone anywhere. Nice second first down and call, ten. and they will move ball the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. <laughs> Wayne snags the dart right sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Watch first and pass, ten. Ball at the 21. Manning throws a bullet to the flat and it's not. It will be a loss on the play, however. Roman Pfeiffer targeted the ball carrier early, didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up. That will bring up second down. Vrabel makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Mike Vrabel got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Manning puts his arm into this one, and this one is incomplete. Reggie Wayne had 
That one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. That's two drops by one of the more sure-handed receivers in the game. Wow. It's not often you see him out of sync like this. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. It's the through the uprights. Let's go! Let's go! Damn it! Mike Vanderjack kicks a soggy football here, but he's on target. And the kick's good. Great job in this nasty weather. Mike Vanderjack kicking off for the Colts. There's the signal, and we're ready. What a kickoff through the uprights. Give that kicker three points. First the Patriots had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Branch goes in motion. Dillon has his number called on first down, and... Corey Dillon gains about carrier. three yards. And number 90 with the tackle. Okay, so we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute and we're going to stay strong and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Second and seven. Ball at the Patriots, 23 yard line. Brady rifles it out left side and Passes it's off incomplete. incomplete with the deflection. Third, Third and down seven. and four wideouts in the game. Yard line. Patton goes in motion. Gibbons makes the nice catch, and he's just short of the first down. Fourth down coming up. Better hope I don't get my fingers Miller lines up to punt after the three and out. to make the return. Miller takes the long snap and punts it away. Walters fields it at the 29. Tackled at the 35. Troy Walters didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. First the Colts could the take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their 35-yard line. Harrison catches the heater left sideline, and that's good for six. Marvin Harrison had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. A lot of short completions like that today, Peter, where they get stopped right uh, soon after the catch. Yeah, if you can't make anything happen after the catch, those Second short throws three. are useless. Ball at the coach. Second three down, yards. three yards to go. <laughs> James will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up third down. with the tackle. Third down, and they line up with three tight ends. Interceptor. No one in front of him. And touchdown. Law picks off the ball and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Great effort to get him into the end zone, Peter. Yeah, that's how to play the game. 110%. Now the point after and the it's extra good. point is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. 
Vinatieri rockets this one deep. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. First and ten. The Colts Indiana. were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Manning throws this on the rope. And it's complete at the 25. Pass complete. And he stopped right there. Peyton Manning made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. They make a completion, but their short game doesn't seem to be worth the time they're investing in it. Well, even when they finally do connect, it's not really moving the ball. Second they need two. to think bigger. Second down, two yards to go. James has his number called on second down and gets the first and more. The Colts take their first time out. First and ten. Ball at the 41. Manning rifles it out left side and it's incomplete. tipped. Incomplete. Mike Vrabel with the deflection. Mike Vrabel came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give second him his second ten. batted ball, ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Second down, one man back. Wayne catches the left sideline and First is at the 30. Four. Finally popped out of bounds at the 26. That will bring up first down. Eugene Wilson makes the play here, but not fast enough. Check it out. He pushes him out, but past the marker. They can't pin him down on second and long, and now it's first and ten. Very disappointing execution by this defense. First and ten. Ball at the 26-yard line. Manning fires this one over the middle, four. and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. First down with a split backfield. Ball at the 11. James takes the handoff and hands left. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Manning ropes this one to the end zone and it's caught for a touchdown. Reggie Wayne has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. I'm sure he's glad to finally make a completion, considering he's already dropped two My today. Oh, buddy, to attempt the extra point. Number 16, Holden. Here's the point after, the extra and point is good. it's good. Gets the signal, and we're set. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. First and ten. The Patriots. Ten. Offense takes the field with the clock at 27. Patton goes in motion. Patton takes the catch out of the left and is well past the markers for a first down. Face mask, number 20, defense. Five yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat Mike first Goss down. Grabs a little too much face mask on this play and it costs him a flag. Let's watch. Yeah, it's only a five-yard penalty for this face mask. I'm pretty sure that was unintentional. First and ten. 
Ball at the Patriots, 40 yard line. Look at the Brady tips it to the left sideline and it's Pass tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Rob Morris. Rob Morris came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Potential for some nice yards, second but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up Patriots. second down. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Jefferson tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Joseph Jefferson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Brady throws the bullet and it's complete at the... The Patriots take their first time off. First down, three wideouts in the game. Dillon catches it in the flat, and that's good for six. Holding, number 72, offense. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Matt Lyons is all over down. his defender on this one. He grabs him and does not let go. The refs aren't big fans of this, and they throw the flag. Yep, that's offensive holding right there. Good call. Brady lets it go deep down the right side. And the catch is made at the 15. And he's stopped right there. David Patton had three guys covering him. But look what happens. Incredible catch. That's the second long ball he's reeled in today. One long ball That's is plenty, but two is point. something to be stoked about. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Patriots are out in front, 14 to 10. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats. And boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Colts should be way ahead on the scoreboard. But somehow, they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Peyton Manning connected with his man on this one. Patriot towards the end of the first quarter. The Patriots with the ball at the one yard line. Corey Dillon is able to make things pay off on the ground. Touchdown for the Patriots. The Colts midway through the second. Colts losing by seven. Mike Vanderjag would be called upon for the field goal try and he'd come through. They climb back into the game, now down by four. The Colts on defense. Ty, I fought the law and the law won. Shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Touchdown for the Patriots. Colts back 14 to three. Edger and James is gonna bounce this one to the outside. And look at the execution up front. He's in the clear. A 31 yard play that set up a Colt touchdown. The Colts climb back again and are now down by four. Patriots creeping up on the end of the half. David Patton is going to find himself on the receiving end of this one as he works his way open for the big play. And that's where we'll leave this one. Pats are holding on to a lead, 14 to 10. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Reggie Wayne has played outstanding. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there, gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Patriots will receive to start the Mike second half, and they the currently court. enjoy a small lead, 14 to 10. Let's get down to the field and the action. 
Johnson decides to take it out of the end zone. Stopped at the 19. We've got a quick update from ESPN's very own Susie Culver. Susie. Thank you, Dan. Into the field and... Head coach Bill Belichick talked to me at halftime, and I mentioned that they've been passing well despite the rough weather. He responded, well, we had the forecast and we were ready for it. We prepare ourselves the best we can. Sounds like they've been practicing for these conditions for a while now. Back to you, fellas. Thanks, Susie. McCrary goes in motion. Brady fires this one over the middle and it's intercepted. I'm coming down. Nicholas Harper is able to catch the ball in these rainy conditions, but he's playing for the defense, people. That rain is really rewriting the playbook out there today. And that time, the D was the big winner. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Colts are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. Harrison makes a tough catch. And he's just barely past the markers for a first. First down, Colts. Harrison goes in motion. Manning throws a beauty to the right side. Interception. It's intercepted. Interception here on the replay there. Watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path. Nice. That's how you make the INT, baby. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Patriots stalled early last drive. And we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own one yard line. Dillon carries it for the ninth time and will gain close to six. Second down with the tight end right. Ball at the Patriots, seven yard line. Dillon gets the call again and picks up the first down. Dillon played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it is always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. They couldn't connect That's on this incomplete. one. Incomplete. With the deflection. Tom Brady has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 150 yards and no touchdowns. Second and 10. Ball at the Patriots, 13-yard line. Rieger tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Number nine. Monte Rieger was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his third tackle of the game. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Brown didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 42 with the Troy cover. Brown had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Peter in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Miller gets the ball and punts it away. Jukes tackled at the 49. 
Troy Walters returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. First and the Colts offense takes the field, and they are already halfway there. They'll start at the 49-yard line. Hands reaches it in the flat and loses yards on that one. They're already halfway there. Roman Pfeiffer was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up. There. That will bring up second down. Manning zings it to the right side, and it's tipped incomplete. Rodney Harrison came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on a D. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Smith lines up for the punt. Smith gets the snap and punts it away. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turn the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. The Patriots have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Morris makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Face mask, number 25, defense. Five-yard penalty from the spot of the five. Nicholas Harper Repeat held the face mask down. back there, but it was kind of iffy. That's a five-yard penalty and a right call. First and five. Ball to Patriots, 25-yard line. Carries it past scrimmage and rambles for about five. Troy Dillon is taking it up the middle and battling that defense head on. And you know what, Dan? He's winning that battle. Look at the numbers here. So far, he's got 41 yards on 12 carries. Second and inches. Ball at the Patriots, 30 yard line. Pick up about seven, and that will bring up first down. Corey Dillon made a nifty little run there and got the first. Nice job. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, 10 yards to go. Brown goes in motion. Dillon carries it for a third time in a row and will lose about a yard here. Gary Brackett was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Ball at the Patriots, 36-yard line. <laughs> Coria grabs the rope right Coria side, and complete. that's good for a gain of five. With the tackle. Tom Brady threaded the ball back there to his man, Third right past five. all that traffic. Good job. Another short pass, and he likes that area of the field so far. Well, why not? He's had success there. Brady rifles this one hard over the middle, and Passes it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. That will defense. bring up fourth down. David Thornton got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes Josh left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, eight, great eight, anticipation the of the pass. Miller lines up for the punt. Miller gets the ball and punts it away. Walters heals the punt at the 16. Locked down at the 22. 
Troy Walters didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. First and ten. In the Colts end. will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Manning sends it to the left sideline and down. the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Reggie Wayne faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That's another medium range catch for him. He's really found his niche first in there. Ten. Yeah, and unless he starts getting All shut the down, the there's no reason for him to move out of it. Rodney Harrison knew exactly where the ball was going on that last play thanks to some great single zone coverage his positioning got him the interception that's their third interception of the game and Peter the D is homing in on the passing game a tough play I love it the Patriots had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at the 32-yard line. Dillon gets the call on first down and rambles for about five. I covered this before. You know the plan. You know what to do. Stick to the plan. Second and five. Ball at the 27th. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground and it's incomplete. Troy Brown looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Another incompletion out left, and it appears that side of the field has not been kind to them at all. Not at all. They got to go somewhere else, look for a different matchup. <laughs> Goes right up the middle and is dropped short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Mike Doss brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but That's not the enough for the, the first. Quarter. He's got seven tackles so far. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Patriots are out in front, 14 to 10. Got seven. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Vinatieri kicks from 40 yards out, and it's good. Adam Vinatieri knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. There's the signal, and we're ready. Vinatieri booms a beauty here. Walters downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Colts haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at the long 20-yard line. Grable tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. With the deflection. Peyton Manning has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 136 yards and three interceptions. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Manning throws up bullet here, and it's tipped. Incomplete. 
Rodney Harrison managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. And Peter, you have to figure that when GMs draft defensive players with a few extra inches to them, this is what they have in mind. Yeah, you know, back in my day, you'd see guys 5'8", 5 5'9", 5 back there. But again, that was back in my day. A different era, <laughs> as you like to point out. <laughs> Harrison hauls it in right side, and they first get the first on third and long. All of the Colts, 37 yard line. Manning rifles this one hard over the middle, first and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Peyton Manning makes a risky pass here and completes it. That took guts, Dan. Check it out. Oh, a perfect pass, and it had to be accurate to get in there between the two defenders. Again, a nice medium pass. He's been concentrating on those connections a lot today. Yeah, it's a nice range. Gets you some good yards, but it's not so far out that you're not in total control of the situation. First down from the eye. Collard grabs the fast ball over the middle four. and is well past the markers for a first down. Ah, come on! Marcus Pollard knows how to play ball in the NFL. He makes the catch and then works for more yards. That's the kind of player you get the ball to. I think the short game is working for them, moving them forward a little at a time. And just nickel and diming the D. Ball at the 30-yard line. James punches this one left to center and will gain close to six. Edrin James was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those second blockers, he would have been toast. They move the ball, and it will be second down. James picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Richard Seymour made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They hold pretty firm there, and they've got to do it again on third and short. James gets the call on third down and heads wide left. Finally stopped at the eight. It'll be first and goal. Impressive yards on the ground here. Check it out. Boy, that's some nice running. It's all about field vision. And if you can see where you have room to roam, good things happen. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past goal. the first down line. Oh, yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. Harrison reels in the football and Marvin picks Harrison up four on the play. Three. Marvin Harrison made a fantastic catch in double coverage. Keep getting him the ball, guys. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. When you see the pass here, Dan, I have no doubt it's heading to his go-to man. Manning ropes this one to the end zone, and it's caught for the score. Defense, watch the pass, watch the pass. Now the point after, the and extra point is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Vanderjack rockets this one deep. Johnson decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 21. Bethel Johnson got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Patriots offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 21-yard line. Branch goes in motion. No dice, and it falls incomplete. With the deflection.
Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Patriots, 21 yard line. Brady throws a beauty to the right side, and it's incomplete. Fred McCrary, Fred McCrary had that ball receiver. in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Peter, even though he's a back versus a wideout, it, it's still rare to see him drop those. Yeah, you're right, Dan. For, for a back, he's got great hands. Third and ten. Ball up the Patriots, 21 yard line. Rams makes the catch on the right sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Tom Brady gambles big time on this play, and it works. Makes it a little more exciting to watch, too. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been an interception. It's a real fine line. That's the third time today he's hit a receiver way downfield. Well, his arm didn't come cheap for this team, so they might as well get their money's worth. Brady throws a heater right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Nicholas Harper got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Second down, one man down. It's intercepted. Knocked out of bounds at the 36. Mike Doss nabbed the interception, but didn't get much after the catch. Hey, don't worry, pal. Your offense can take it from there. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Colts start this drive in great field position at the 36-yard line. Bulldozes right of center and rambles for about five. Satupe Peke used every ounce of his big self to do some key blocking on that last play. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second, second down, four. tight end to the left. This one will fall incomplete. Marvin Harrison had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure-handed. Third down. The clock is stopped at 1.53. It is not reeled in, incomplete. Brandon Stokely ran a post pattern on that last play, but he couldn't make the catch. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Fourth down, four yards to go. Vanderjat boots it from 48 yards out, and good. they take the lead. I'm turning it off. I'm turning it off. Mike Vanderjack really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. Late in the game, and they take the lead. That was a very Mike big Vanderjack. field goal. As big as they come, Dan. There's the signal, and we're ready. Vanderjack rockets this one deep. Johnson downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Patriots start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.45. Dillon catches it over the middle, and he's looking for room. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Second and third. Ball at the Patriots, 26 yard line. Dillon gains five on the play, and the clock will continue to run. First down, empty backfield. Ball at the Patriots, 31 yard line. 
The Patriots take their first time out. Second down. Second the clock 15. is stopped at 108. Ball at the Patriots, 25 yard line. Brady floats this one out to the right sidelines, and That's the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. As you can see, he's up over the century mark. Oh, he came to play today. Dillon will get the carry on first down, and he stopped. The clock continues to run. Number 20 with the tackle. Second and eight. Ball at the 43. Brady just rifles this one, and it falls incomplete. Troy Brown was the intended receiver. Number 25 with the coverage. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Brown grabs the bullet and is past the first with daylight, and he's in for the touchdown. Troy Brown is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any daylight between him and the end zone. Let's go, D, let's rock it, let's go. Now the extra point, and the extra point is it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. First and ten, Indianapolis. Manning zings it to the right side, and it's That's incomplete. With the deflection. Second down, three wideouts in the game. All at the coach, 20 yard line. Complete. Marcus Pauley went for the mid-range completion on that one, but didn't get it. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that. That would have been a tough catch. Third down. The clock is stopped at 14. <laughs> Manning throws a heater, and the Colts take their first time out. First down from the shotgun. Harrison grabs the fast. The Colts will take a timeout. That's their second. Look, Dan, great receiving yards there. That will help your fantasy team. Manning lets it go the distance here, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. And that will That's do it for tonight's game. The Patriots come out on top 24 to 20. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.
right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video game post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Patriots stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Nicholas Harper shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Colts on D already inside field goal range. Ty, I fought the law and the law won. Would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Colts behind by four. Rodney Harris shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Pats have it off an interception. Adam Vinatieri would come on and connect on the field goal try. A 41-yard field goal. Pats up 17 to 10. Peyton Manning would drop back and put one right on the money. A four-yard touchdown for the Colts. The Colts knotted up 17 all. Mike Doss was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Colts, after getting an interception, game tied 17 all. Mike Vanderjag get the call for the lengthy field goal attempt, and he would in fact deliver. The Pats answer right back. Troy Brown was definitely a key, as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 43-yard touchdown for the Patriots, and that's where we'll leave this one. Pats edge out a win, 24 to 20. Now let's take a sec to chat with our player of the game. Guy who seemed to be all over the field on defense and came up with big play after big play. Ty, I fought the law and the law won. Is on the field with our Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You played brilliantly and you won a close game today. What was the key to your success? I got to give it up for our offense. They were firing on all cylinders and moving the chains all day long. I mean, we play with our backs against the wall but you know, it's nice when you don't have to do that. Back to you, 